Hey everybody, welcome to part 5, the final part of the Spectrum of Defense in Ultimate series. This one is about my favorite, Flexigan Defense. Now this incorporates two strategies, or two tactics, switching and surrounding, which look a bit like this, switching, and surrounding looks a bit like this, um, and it kind of unpacks this um, whole can of worms. Um, Flexigan Defense is uh, incorporating these two elements, um, and it's right in between the one-to-one -one matchups and the zone, yeah? So it's kind of as hybrid as it gets. The concepts that I touched on briefly in this video, I kind of summarize in this video. Uh, I unpack them in a couple of other videos. You've got what is flex, you've got the switching, and you've got surrounding stacks videos. Those videos talk about uh, the mechanics of it, like how to switch, how to surround stacks, what it should look like. Um, but if you want to know how to train those things, then I'm releasing training videos on the $8 tier on Patreon. So go check that out for more info. Although the concepts in this video are not that familiar to either one-to-one -one or zonal approaches, they're not like overly complicated. They are things that I teach to beginners after the first couple of weeks of trainings. Um, so although like you might think, oh, we need like a high game IQ to pull this off, you know, only teach this to experienced players because they need to know more about the basics first. I consider switching and sandwiching to be like a basic of team play. If you teach players this early, then they develop those skills and, and they build upon them as they learn the rest of the game and they get more like a complete picture of how the sport works and how strategy kind of works on the field. Okay, without further ado, here is part five, Flexigan Defense. Hope you enjoy it and I'll see you again soon. Flex Defense is a dynamic application of switching, sandwiching and other techniques involving teamwork, in addition to one-to-one -one marking of isolated players in space. As a principle of flex, defenders should use teamwork wherever it might gain them an advantage, which means switching marks when their movement allows it and surrounding the offense when they clump together. Flex can be played with different focuses and is often reactive to the style of offense. Against spread offenses or isolated players, flex can initially resemble one-to-one -one defense with switching where possible. Against vertical stack and side stack offenses, flex can initially resemble a zone. The defenders surround the stacks and they only pick up marks when the offense begin to cut. Countering flex strategy in offenses with clustered players like vertical and side stack can be attempted by trying to find and exploit the holes in the surrounding setup, or by flooding a space and trying to get free before the surrounding defenders reposition. For a team to become proficient at flex, they must train their field awareness and communication skills, as flex relies on far more on-field team adjustments than other defenses. Flex defense is a newer set of principles that few teams are currently comfortable with. The defense of Japanese teams, specifically Buzz Bullets and Japan Open, has similarities to flex as they set up brackets dynamically on the field, communicate constantly, and flash poach and switch often. Revolution and Colombian national mixed and women's teams also tend to have flexy principles of surrounding stacks and marking clustered players as a team. Hopefully now you can think of defensive coverage as a spectrum, not just a binary choice between one-to-one -one or zone defense, and you have an idea of where poaching, switching, and surrounding fit into the big picture, rather than just looking at them as individualistic actions. Special thanks to Noah for helping to write and produce this video, which was his idea, and thank you for watching. For more videos on flex defense, check the Felix Ultimate YouTube and Patreon channels, and I'll see you again soon.